Now we can show you how to edit your multi-model line balance. So let's open up our balance first of all. So we go to File, Open Multi-Model. And in the multi-model, you'll probably have an area like I have here where the multi-models are all listed. Here's my line 57. I'm going to open up the line 57 here. And it brings it up. Now notice the uh, labels down at the bottom for the tasks are defaulted to being uh, vertical to make it so we fit everything in here. So you might want to change that perhaps to a 45 degree just so you can make it a little bit easier to read on the eyes here. Now let's say you wanted to uh, look at this process and you see perhaps the green model here. Now what is green model? So you can click on this, you can say configure model and you can see the model colors. The green model is model B here in our particular scenario, model B. So what we're going to do here is we're going to maybe say we want to move some of the work content from here on to the next station. And it's difficult to read that here, so you can actually scroll down at the bottom here. So you can grab the, the scroll bar, and the one we're looking at was a handle assembly. So maybe you say I'm going to grab the attached funnel and move it over here and drop it down here. Now you can do what ifs here, but this will not stick. The only way to make changes stick is actually to do the following. So I'm going to fit in window here. I'm going to double click on any particular chip. And that will then isolate that particular model. As you can see, it's model B right here that we're working with. And now you can grab and drop it. Right? Now that will actually stick. So the attached funnel has now been moved to the handle assembly. And we double click and take it back here. So now you can see the attached funnel is now in the handle assembly here. Again, it's a little hard to read, so you probably want to scroll it a little bit here to make it more readable. And you can see right here, the attached funnel is now there. So everything is basically the same. The only trick here is that when you want to be able to uh, edit any particular model, you can uh, you can double click on it and it will isolate that particular model. This is model C, and then you can move work content around within model C. Double click, and it takes it back, and it's reflected the change in the multi-model presentation here. So in summary then, you have access to all the features of the standard line balancing module, provided you simply double click on a particular activity in the multi-model. It will isolate that model and you can access all the tools and all the features you would if you're using with a single model to make changes and then use a double click to take it back again. Remember also you are able to drag and drop for what if scenarios within the uh, actual multi-model itself. But if you do that, these, these changes are not being saved to your database. This is only for what-if scenarios. Obviously, one of the nice things is if you drag one of the colored items into another color, it's very obvious that you've done something wrong. But by doing the double click, it's impossible for you to do that because you're only working on one particular uh, model at a time.